in this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite up-and-coming offenses in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time just to watch today's video. I hope it helps you. My channel is all about helping you get better at Madden through tips, through strategies. And the video we're going to be talking about today uh, is specifically a scheme that I think is really, really, really effective. A lot of people have kind of flirted with it. Very few people have really committed to it. And uh, I think Spot Me Please would be proud because he was kind of the founder of this offense um, and the bunch tied in. So RIP to him. But if you haven't subscribed yet, basically what we do here, like I said, is we help you get better at Madden. We do daily videos. Um, we we'll do like four videos every day. And we also stream every night. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would recommend doing it. I think it will definitely help you get better at the game. Now this formation is found in the Las Vegas Raiders playbook. Now really quickly here, I'm going to go ahead and sub in uh, some fast receivers here or fast corners just to kind of help us with the coverage on the defensive side so that you can see everything, you know, kind of unfold. But basically what we're going to be talking about today is the bunch tight end. Now the bunch tight end in Madden 21 is, I think, extremely underrated. And, um, and, and some, people, some people will tell you it's properly rated. Some people tell you it's overrated. I think it's underrated, and here's why. The bunch tight end can do pretty much everything that the shotgun bunch offense can do and the trips tight end offense in one formation. That's why I like it so much. So we're going to jump in here. Audibles that I've got here are inside switch, X spot, curl flat corner, and PA boot over. Um, and we're going to come out in the play stick. Uh, what I would recommend is honestly taking PA boot over and coming out in that every play. Um, you know, that would be what I would recommend. Now, as far as flipping and all that stuff, you want to run this formation to the side of your quarterback. So if your quarterback's right-handed, you want to run it as is. If your quarterback's left-handed, you want to run it, um, you want to flip it, okay? So just so you know that. Um, now, in general, we definitely want to run this to the wide side. We're not always going to be able to do that, okay? So that's okay. But the first play I want to talk to you about, you guys probably already know about the play PA boot over. Put the tight end on a delay fade, smart route Lazard. That's pretty much all you got to do, and it's the, probably the best play in the game. You see when you roll out, the man coverage chases you, and you're able to hit that delay fade. That's not the only reason why this play is good, but it's also not the only reason the formation is good. So I want to talk to you about a couple of other plays you might not have seen yet, and we're actually working on a bunch tight end ebook under the hood that could be coming out uh, soon. I think this offense is amazing. I, it's really, really good. Um, and there's a lot of little things that most people don't do that take it from good to amazing. So uh, we're going to show you that right now. First and foremost, curl flat corner. This play is awesome. Um, and one thing you want to do before I, before I dive too deep into this, you want to put your best route runner at the slot receiver. So that for the Packers, that would be Devontae Adams. So I'm going to put Devontae Adams there, and then I've got Valdez Scantling on the outside here. So that way we can get that cleaned up. And then let me just double check and make sure my coaching adjustments are right on defense. Let's get these curl flats at 25 yards. Um, that's probably the most popular way that people are going to run them. And first things first, we're going to show you Cover 3 Mabel, right? A lot of people face Cover 3 Mabel, a lot of people. Um, so we're going to show you how to beat it, okay? Literally, all you're going to do from curl flat corner, this is this was one of Spot Me play, Please was like favorite plays back in the day. But literally, you're just going to smart route Adams. You're going to streak Valdez Scantling. That's it. Then on the back side of this, you can do whatever you want to do. What I like to do is delay fade the tight end, block the running back, that's what I like to do. Another thing that you could do is curl the tight end and flat the running back. You can do that as well. So if you just watch Devontae Adams, this corner route does a really, really good job at getting over the curl flat zones, even at 25 yards. And the streak does a really good job at pulling the cover three deep blue zone um, out of the way, basically. And so this just kills Mabel coverage. The beauty of it is also kills man coverage if you have route technician um, or if you have like a 90 route running receiver or higher, this thing is going to kill me in coverage as well. Um, but anyway, let me just show you this again. This is cover three. You see that it gets to the outside and you can kind of catch that on the outside of the ball. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is sometimes, now most people don't run this defense at all against this offense. But what most people do is they will take their corner on the outside, and they will put him in at some form of a deep half. They're not going to put him in an outside third most of the time. And the reason why they're not going to put him in an outside third most of the time is if you get if you get really good at running this play, you're going to find that you're going to get a lot of one-play touchdowns on this. 
But anyway, this is cover three, I believe. And let me just show you here. Oftentimes, that corner, um, he doesn't always run with the streak. Right, right there, he did. But there are instances where he won't run with that streak. He'll leave it. Um, and so, for example, this cover three buzz out of uh, 335, this is a very popular coverage as well. And you'll notice that the safety is not coming from the from the strong side. So what this can create for your offense is if you can get this cover three, it doesn't always work, but just motion about is out just a little bit. And what you'll see sometimes is you'll actually be able to hit that up the seam. If you can't, just take this route right here to Adams. Either one of those two are going to be always, always will literally always be open. That's what's nice about this 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 scheme that you'll literally always have someone open. Now, a lot of times what people will do um, to kind of help with the coverage on this is they will deep half their outside corners. The reason they do that is because they don't want to get bombed over the top. So with deep halving their outside corners, it's going to make this thing even better. As you see there, that corner route just completely torches it. It beats every coverage. That's what makes it so good. Um, for example, if they run Tampa 2 on you, right, one of the most popular defenses in the entire game, um, so nickel 35, Tampa 2 is one of the best coverages in Madden. What you'll notice here is this corner route literally kills it all. You see here, this is cover 2, just pass lead it up, click on, and you see that right there. Very, very solid. Very, very solid. Now, what's really cool about bunch tight end that is different than bunch is that you have a tight end compressed. So you can do the same basic concept on the left on the opposite side of the field. So the play that we're going to use for that is inside switch. And you notice this corner route to the tight end. If I smart route it, it's that same sharp cutting corner route that we really, really like. So what I like to do is simply take Tavon Austin. And you can leave, you, you don't have to motion him over. I like to motion him over. And what you'll notice is against man, if you motion tape on Austin over on the streak and step him right about here against man to man coverage, this corner route will oftentimes get open. It didn't get open right there, but it will typically get open. One thing you have to understand, and I mean you have to understand about this, is motion snaps are really good as long as you time them properly. So you might want to let him get out a little bit more. Maybe get him out right about there just to get some better spacing. But as you see here, this corner route has a good shot. Now, if you have tight end with 90 route running, like Jermichael Finley or something, this is going to be really good. Part of the reason it's struggling a little bit is primarily because uh, Adrian Amos just has really, really good man coverage, right? So, you know, that's just something that you have to kind of monitor. But as you see there, if you swerve him, you can kind of get him open. So against man, you need route running. That's understandable. But against zone, um, What's really cool about this is this corner route is really, really good. So let me just show you uh, inside switch, smart route to corner route. We're going to take Tavon Austin over, bring him, put him on a streak right there. And watch the corner route. Now, because it's on the short side of the field, the corner route's not as good. You want to run that corner route to the wide side. So that's one little piece of like advice that I would give is these corner routes are really good. What's cool about this formation is you can run these to the wide side of the field. So that's going to make them even better. So, for example, if you're sitting on this hash mark right here and I run that corner route on Tampa 2, let me just show you what happens. This is just straight Tampa 2. Watch how, see how it just continues to run to the sideline and absolutely torches the Tampa 2 defense, right? A lot of people will run cover 2 on that side as well, which is really interesting. Um, another thing that people will do is a lot of times, because this formation is so good, because PA bootover is such a threat, they will run deep halves on their outside guys so that they don't get bombed over the top. So you don't even have to motion people over. And you'll see here that this, right there, the safety did a good job of coming down, right? He did a phenomenal job, actually, of, of playing that. But, again, one thing you have to understand with this is a lot of times when people are calling cover three, they're not going to have their safety. It's actually going to typically be a linebacker. Not not necessarily a linebacker, but a safety at linebacker. So he's underneath the coverage. But again, here, you see, I mean, I can kind of get this over the top. I can't quite get it there against a safety if a safety's in coverage. But let's say that they go down to something like this. Cover three buzz out of three through five. This is this is uh, more, of, more of what I'm talking about. So you'll see here, I'm going to deep half both guys. Now, because the linebacker is the one that's going on that curl flat coverage at 20 yards, now it's going to be a wide open laser, as you see right there. So if the purple zone is underneath him, it's going to be wide open. If the purple zone is coming from the safety over top, it might not be as wide open. 
Now the beauty of this is if you come to if you uh, run PA boot over on them, right? Because this is this is how it all kind of fits together. If you run PA boot over on them, what you're going to notice is when you kind of just go to this randomly, when you roll out, you're going to see here if they don't have great coverage on the back end, you can sometimes hit that post right over the top. Now I wasn't able to do it right there, but you can sometimes do it. Um, so that's just something to understand. Another thing that you have to understand about this this playbook um, is if people people are deep halfing their their players. What you've got to understand about that, and the reason that's significant is, let's say they're deep halfing, right? If I get out of the pocket here, you're going to notice that I have a pretty good shot at getting that over the top as long as my receiver's faster. If my receiver's a little faster, he'll get over the top of that coverage. So those are all things you just have to be aware of. Another thing that I wanted to break down just really briefly here for you is let's say that they're playing traditional cover three, right? This is just simply traditional cover three. I'm going to streak Devontae Adams and bring him over. Right, it could be anyone from that side, and I'm gonna snap him right about here. Watch the cover three outside third. Sometimes, and it doesn't always happen, it's kind of similar to curl flat corner. Sometimes that outside third will go to the corner route. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't necessarily know how to predict it. I think the quicker you can snap, um, whoops, I'm in the wrong play here. Uh, the quicker, whoops, the dang it, I did it again. The quicker that you can snap the ball when he comes across, the better it's going to be for your offense. So, again, if I snap like if I snap him right there, now you see how that quarter is out there? See that right there? See how he goes? Now I can kind of try to get that over the top. Now, again, that was a I, – I don't know if that was the right uh, cover three. Most people, when they run cover three, are going to run the cover three to the trip side. What that means is the deep, the deep blue safety is going to be on the trip side. So if you do this, you can have a, I mean, you have a chance. It's not always going to work, and, and, and hear me hear me loud and clear when I say that. But, like, right here, you've got a decent chance. And, and what I would honestly do is probably put him on a fade. I think that'll help a little bit. But you got a decent chance of hitting that route. And that's something that most people don't really think about when they face bunch tight end. Most people just sit and cover three and pray. You know, that's what I've seen at least. So this is just something to kind of put in your bag of tricks. If you're getting a lot of cover three, you still have a great post route on the right. You still have a great route uh, route combo in, in different directions as well. But with the fade, you see it can get over a little bit more. Obviously, the safety rotated to the middle, so we wouldn't want to do that. But that's just something that you, you know, again, that's just something with time. The other thing is, if they're running a lot of cover three, and I didn't talk about this in the previous setup, but literally all you've got to do, let's say they're running a lot of cover three, that's why I, that's why I have the play stick. Just streak Adams. That's it. Just streak him. That's it. And watch watch the magic work. Um, either the corner route or the post route, or the, I'm not the corner route, the corner route or the streak's going to be wide open. Now, if you motion them out, I think it works a little bit better, but that's just some, you know, again, these are just simple little setups out of bunch tight end. Now, if you want to get the full bunch scheme, let me know. I'm going to probably be working on this over the course of the next week, um, just labbing this. I think this offense can be better than most people. I just think it's really good already, um, and I think there's ways to make it even better. So I'm going to actually go back and study some old tape of Spot Me Please, and, and hopefully that will help me as I kind of build this offense in midair. But as you see right there, um, you know, that in that scenario, because I'm on the because I'm on the short side of the field, that's what happens. And so that's where you've got to understand your hash marks. The different hash marks cause coverages to react a little bit differently. So if I run that same exact play, you're gonna notice that there's gonna be a, a drastic difference um, in terms of how it's gonna defend the same combo here. And it's very similar combo, but now because I'm on the wide side, watch, watch that corner. You see that little false step he takes? And then I can potentially get that up there. Now, I wasn't able to do there, but I could do it, you know, in the right timing. Obviously, with route technicians or route apprentice players, uh, this is going to be even better. So the other thing that I like about this is there's different motions that you can create uh, from this from this play. So, for example, I could do something like this. I can motion Adams to the right um, and, and get that little animation right there to beat man coverage. So there's so much you can do. I'm excited to dive into this with you guys. Text me if you want more information about this. As we get it, we will deliver it to you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. We're going to be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and we'll see you at 10 o'clock tonight.